So welcome to another episode of 9 to 5 Nerds with Corey and Robert. I'm Robert Swathwood. Hello. This is Corey Urkel. Hi, how'd you do? And our guest today is Ben Hetzel. How's it going? Um, today's episode is going to be primarily about The Walking Dead, the last few episodes. Why are you putting on sunglasses? It's bright in here, Bobby. You know, you know who wears sunglasses inside, right? Uh, Blind people right. and assholes. <laughs> yeah. I think you stole that from somewhere. It's curb your enthusiasm. Yeah. We go off on tangents. I get it. Uh, Don't be so obtuse. Anyways, it'll be about the last, the season finale of The Walking Dead, as well as maybe, you know, roll a couple of the last few episodes in. You've watched the most recently, Ben. Yeah. And uh, I want to throw some Daredevil in there, because it's been three weeks since it came out. Two Especially or three some Punisher in there, too. you got to talk about that. Yes. John Bernthal was excellent as the Punisher. But we'll, we'll get to that. I think we, we'll start off with Walking Dead. I actually wrote notes while I was watching the season finale. Fantastic. Uh, usually I don't do that. We couldn't do that when we watched Batman vs. Superman. So, you know, some of the stuff is kind of ha- hazy. Probably for multiple reasons. You couldn't take some notes during that movie. Yeah. I took a video. But <laughs> of the whole movie. Yeah, I thought that might help me remember some of it. <laughs> we watched it again and again. I posted it online for other people could remember it with me. Don't steal movies. <laughs> hashtag. Yeah, hashtag don't steal movies. Hashtag... <laughs> drive by uh, but yeah we'll just we'll start off with uh cory what did you think of the season finale of the walking dead but i didn't take notes okay uh in a nutshell yeah you hated it disappointing really uh, well they build up to one moment throughout the whole episode you know it's coming everybody knows it's coming they tease it i'll see it basically it's been a season build up to one moment and they didn't fucking show it. Perspective of a comic book reader, though, right? You read the comics? Or you've heard of the comics? I think everybody knows... I mean, I know anybody, you... anybody watches the show heard of Negan, they immediately Google it. Like, okay, now I know who Negan is. Well, yeah, and I mean, I felt the need to Google Jesus right when I saw him. Because I think he's the greatest thing that's ever happened in the show. He's excellent. And I oh. actually you mean, didn't you know, Google Jesus. Just... <laughs> because... I... I've read the books for years, and as soon as I saw it, even though he looked like Jesus, it still went to Jesus in my in my brain. <laughs> but Corey makes fun of me about it, but go ahead. And, I mean, he was just spectacular all season. He didn't have one scene where he wasn't drawing everyone's attention. He He's a have, scene stealer, but he didn't have enough scenes. He didn't have he, one scene in the last four episodes. I'm wondering if next season he'll be a series regular. I hope so. Yeah, because he was, he was good. And I thought his beard was fake, and it's not. It's just very nicely trimmed. Did they ever go I back to that fine. town after they massacred people? They tried to. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I mean, yeah, I guess. And that goes back to the season, well, is it mid-season break or is it the season finale? Which what? one? The, what we just watched? Yeah. The, that was the season finale. Yeah. It's not on again until October. Gotcha. So now we have to wonder. What a who, horrible clip. Yeah, which I, I actually think is a good thing because if he would have bashed someone's fucking head in, uh, I don't know if I can curse on your podcast. Yes, it's, but... it's listed as explicit on iTunes. <laughs> but if he would have bashed the dude's head in, or whoever's head he bashed in, which I think is Eugene, I'm saying that right now, it's got to be. I think Eugene would be a cop-out, because he's already written off for dead. But but then everyone would be like, I can't believe they killed this person. They're a piece of shit. I'm not watching this show anymore. And you know everyone would be complaining. This way they do it, it keeps the buzz without like killing a favorite character. Walking Dead is really good at having a multitude of favorite characters for different people. Yeah. And, and I, with this, you know it's going to drive up the numbers for the season premiere. It's already a very popular yeah. show, but the season premiere, everybody's going to be like, who who died? I need yeah. to know. If they yeah. don't kill off a main named character, it'd be a cop-out. That's all that's sitting there, though, are main characters. No, but there's Rosita, one, guy, there's, Rosita, there's one yeah. guy, I don't even know his name, uh, Rosita... Eugene is basically as good as dead. I, if Eugene died... Who do you not know? The guy from... The, the guy that's like the gay dude that his husband Aaron? or whatever died. Yeah, Aaron. Yeah, I guess. You don't know Aaron? No. If they killed Aaron... He's not a scene... Th- th- he's not That like would a be such a cop-out. But he's had stories that are... There was the, the story of yeah. just him and Maggie. So, I yep. mean, there he has had screen time. It's not like Dr. Dre. You see... The guy with the dreads was yeah. Dr. Dre yeah. and straight out of Compton. Walking around the back. Who's good in the book, but... Hasn't really had very many scenes in the, if, in the show. I expect, for if Negan's going to be super important, that somebody from the first two or three seasons, one of those people has been around for half the show. I agree with you. Would have to be killed off for him to make 
any sort of impressive entrance. Yeah. I think that they they did this whole thing. They built it up. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. It's Steering really it away good. from the comic of where he kills, spoiler, if you don't read the books, Glenn. And they did this whole thing this whole season to say, hey, it could be this person, it could be this person, setting up Eugene saying goodbye and all this. And Especially then I think it, with the music yeah. uh, also playing that, oh, you're heroic. And they play this like heroic music. And they really give Eugene the spotlight multiple times in uh, the last two episodes, especially, to where he's like, I can handle this now. I'm, I can save people. I can do all this stuff. Then they play that music, which is almost, you know, are we going to do it? Are we not going to do it? Mm-hmm. So. I think it's going to be Glenn. Yeah. I think they played it off so much that it could be anybody that it's going to go right back to it being Glenn. You think they foreshadowed it with him uh, the mirror. outside of, the, of Alexandria and he gets into that scuffle and the guy has the bat? And you think that he's going to kill Glenn with the bat yeah. in that scene. They but, tease you. Yeah. They also had that scene where Glenn's driving away and he's looking in the mirror, the side mirror. And it was just that kind of like, these guys, how many more goodbyes do they have left? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's Maggie. Do you? Either that or she's having a miscarriage. Maggie, One or the other, they're not going to have a baby. I don't think they're going to have a baby either. And Maggie was my call before I saw the season finale. I was like, the biggest brutal thing that they could do in the show is kill a pregnant, kill a pregnant woman. woman. Yep. And and it would have True. been the biggest hit, but now at this point, Either, I think it's going to be her, and she loses the baby, or Glenn dies, and she loses the baby. It's not going to be Glenn dies, and did I, you see the No, yeah, it was Glenn meme? dies, miscarriage, or Glenn dies, dies, Negan gets with Maggie, and they, they oh, raise and Bruce they Wayne. Oh, Batman, yeah. Batman <laughs> kid. No, I don't like that. <laughs> um, That's a pretty good one, too. It made me laugh. The episode was an hour and a half. It was, and it was an hour and four minutes. But with commercials and yeah. stuff, it does go to an hour. Okay, well, so hour and four minutes. It was 44 minutes, 48 minutes of them just driving around, hitting roadblocks. I actually appreciate that. I liked that, that part. It shows the gravity of how much these people control apparently, that area. Apparently, they really control that Maggie needed medical attention. Otherwise, they would have been standing on the road for no reason because they had no idea Maggie was going to go into... That she's know, sick. That she was sick. Like... Matt, they had to take Maggie to this town. Yeah. And they had all these roadblocks set up. Unless they're going to stay there day and night. I They've been this. scouting. The thing that they show, though, throughout the whole last three episodes is that they've been scouting Alexandria. They know that there's people there. They know who the people are when there. When Carol ran into those guys on the exactly. road, they said exactly where she was staying. So that's... We uh, know you just left from Alexandria. Uh, unless those people are going to go fetch... The Alexandrians, and then bring them back to every single roadblock? Like, what was... Well, they also have uh, communication. When you see when they run into that group with the walkie-talkies, you know that they have set channels that they're communicating for, and they have this complicated network uh, set up so that they can communicate over lo- lo- right. long distance without having people... It's like a 100 to 1 ratio men to women, and they're not fighting over that. There's no... You know, you're going to have a group like Rick's that's 15 people, and there's so much eternal or internal beef that it makes a show around it. So you can imagine there's 150 guys and four women, and these people all have the best military or like military precision and coordination, and Rick couldn't do that with 15 people. You know, he couldn't get a handful of people in line. The Negan guy can get a whole army of people to. But I think. Stuff From up. Rick's point of view, he's not he's not trying to take control. He's not trying trying to control the, everyone's aspect of every point of everything that they're doing. And he's not holding people hostage, which is what Negan's doing. If you don't give me this, if you don't do this for me, You're gonna I'm going to kill you. Yeah. And you would think... It's a bigger threat from Negan than it is from Rick. Mm-hmm. Every single person Negan has under him is an asshole. And if they were all like normal people... One of them, at one point in time, would have put a bullet in his head while he's sleeping. I think some of them are normal people and are being forced into that that kind of life. And you know what happens in the season finale. The only ones that seem normal are the ones that Carol had to kill, which is ironic because she didn't want to kill anybody. But all the assholes on the motorcycles, in the base, they slaughtered everybody on the roadside and pickup trucks, shooting crossbows in doctor's eyes. All those people 
seem like grade A assholes. But the Dwight, Dwight shot the guy, or shot what's her face yeah, in the, the eye. Doctor. But when you saw Dwight with the chick earlier with Daryl, he, he wasn't said, that way. He also said he was aiming for Daryl. Yeah, he did, well, I'm saying even before that, he, when Daryl was with either, him, he missed by a mile, or he was just he fucking lying. He was fucking with him. But, yeah. but they were really close, like during the uh, exchange that they have, where they're talking, and he and Daryl's like right up in her face, like, "Why would you do all this stuff?" And she's like trying to explain. They're pretty close in proximity. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he could have easily yeah. been aiming for her. It's just the camera angle kind of makes it seem that okay. So he's not an asshole then, because he's aiming <laughs> for Daryl. Well, but that uh, was a pretty good shot then. The yeah. people at the that have they're holding Maggie and Carol hostage though, um, at the uh, one of the compounds that they go to. The redheaded. I don't girl. really think they mistreated Maggie or no, Carol. Those were the only people that were any good, which made it more of a pain for Carol to kill them. Do what she did, which if they had been assholes like anybody else in that gang or group, mm -hmm. whatever you call them, because she even stopped the guy from beating on Carol. Yeah. Yeah. And then Carol, you know, run, get out of here, come on, mm -hmm. I don't want to kill you. And which so. I really hate what they did to Carol's character this season. Yeah, they it's... build her up like she's such a badass and she kills all these people and no emotion and uh, she cares about her family. And then in this season, Start she kind of deteriorates into yeah. this character who is like going back to what she was previously, where she hates killing and. It's not worth living with her family if she's going to have to kill, so she'd rather just go out on her own. And it kind of ruins the character for me, and I don't think that she's... I actually wrote that down in my notes, that the, the whole Carol Morgan plotline in the finale, even going before that, it just didn't pan out. It didn't work. They, they used it basically to get to those two guys at the end yeah. who are going to... But yeah. take them to a Carol. Third left. Well, let's go chase her. Let's then four people have to chase her. Let's well, get Carol back. Is before she... we get too far away from what we were talking about, um, when you were saying that there's no good people in this group, what if the people who they ran into, who Morgan runs into, what if they're part of that group? Like, yeah, they work for I... Megan. They look like, but they... they're not. I figure they're a settlement, another settlement altogether. The... Because they have the spear. The that's... theory is: is do you read the books? I don't. And you read issue 50 issues, 60 issues? Yeah, not enough. The thought process is, and this is comic spoilers mm -hmm. if anybody's listening, even though it's six years ago, Yeah. basically, five or six years ago in the book, is that the third camp, which is called the Kingdom, is where those two guys are from. And that's the, the theory out there right now, because those two guys are dressed completely different than anybody you've seen. Um, they did have spears, but they also had like padding, almost like armor that they built. So the theory is, is that they are going to the kingdom, and the kingdom has a different leader. He's kind of, he's not Negan. Yeah. He's not the dick at Hilltop. That guy's a piece of shit. He's a creep. Yeah. He's different. Um, um, but I, I wanted to say when Daryl first met Dwight and the two girls yeah. that he's with. Dwight wasn't as big of a piece of shit then as he is now. As he is now, and where's the girl, and what's happening to her to make him maybe? Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, he has her. I need to do this, or he's gonna do something to her. Also, Put that guy down in his sleep. If that's also, did his face get burned in the exchange, or the comic book stuff? Comic book stuff. Gotcha. Comic book stuff, and it'll probably since they burn his face play out that way. Yeah. So we'll leave that alone. But I, I, one cool scene I really liked in the finale, and it kind of, it was full circle. It echoed from the very first episode. Morgan riding on that horse. I know it's a simple scene, it's but cool. him riding on the horse, just down the street with nothing going on, kind of reminded me of Rick in the very first episode, and I actually That's, really liked that. Actually, they probably did that on purpose. Yeah, exactly. To because show how his standpoint is right now. Exactly, because they're kind of reversed at this point, where Rick's a cold-blooded killer. Yeah. And in the beginning, Rick wasn't. And... I didn't really like... Uh, they did kind of a religious undertone with the rosary beads. And you kind of think at first, oh, you know, Carol doesn't really care about religion. Uh, she's just using it to get an advantage mm -hmm. in how she's perceiving herself to yeah. be. But then later on, you know, she holds on to him. 
and you kind of think that she does start to care about it. I thought she was doing a psych out at first. And she then on an act. I was like, that's so awesome. And I was like, oh, she's done acting. And then the way that they shoot her, or when she gets shot, she gets shot in the wrists and then in the legs, semblance to being nailed yeah, to a cross. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I saw that and I thought, that's pretty big for them to do that. She's on and that's Jesus. pretty crazy for them to do that. And her whole like turn of character where she doesn't want to kill anyone anymore, all that really tied together to make me throw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, other than them finding the guys from, I think, the kingdom, which, really random thing and it doesn't matter, the guy that shook Morgan's hand, mm-hmm. I think he follows me on Twitter. Huh. Just kind of a... Thank God. Just a random... We need more of those. Yeah, Twitter, <laughs> at Sly Comics. Follow. Do they all learn how to do that Negan whistle? In the Hunger Games whistle? Yeah. What the hell? Is can a human I do agree. that? What the fuck is that? Is that? A little ridiculous. I thought it was a musical cue on the show. And I was like, oh, they yeah. heard that? And then they panned all their faces and they have like this scrunched up whistly face. Yeah. And you're like, are you for real right now? This is... They had the real audio. Y'all had be horrible. Megaphones. <laughs> I like that each way they went had more guys like definitely that you probably cool. could have taken out the guys at the first stop not knowing that the second stop was going to be twice yeah. as many I, I don't understand the show logic that they have to do this go different ways just to see the impact but in Rick's mind why the hell I don't know why they chose one vehicle anyway why didn't they back up and then like okay let's go murder these guys we murdered Fucking like 48 guys in their sleep. Here's like six guys ahead of us. We all have assault rifles. Let's flank around. And, like, I don't understand why they went around. They like, had that, such a weird exchange. They tried to do it at the end and then it didn't work. The best the best part of the whole finale, besides Negan, I mean, we'll get to that, is Rick going from Alpha Dog to <laughs> Low Man on the Totem Pole and seeing his face. His acting yeah. was better than anybody He was else. the best. I mean, maybe Jeffrey Dean Morgan is, is Negan, but his face was just like, oh shit. Shell shot. It's, yeah. it's over. Yeah. Panic. That whole last thing, nothing wrong with that whole last scene except that they didn't end didn't it. Show. Uh, have you seen the audio clips going around? No. That, About whose voice is in the background? Yeah, that you can yeah. hear Maggie screaming Glenn. I don't know how real it is. I yeah, haven't. I don't think. They would do that. Yeah. And I mean, you can definitely hear what sounds like Maggie's voice. And you can hear, like, a couple of other key characters, but you don't... It's still, like, it could be Abraham, it could be, you know, it could be anyone. Let's, let's... Before we go on to Negan, because I do want to spend a bit of time talking about him. Who who do we know that it's not? It's not Rick. It's not going to be Carl? I definitely don't think so. It's not going to be those two. Because in the book, there's actually a strange... It's a very weird relationship between... Carl and Negan, they almost they almost get each other. Gotcha. Which is, and with Negan's line at the very end, you know, you don't want me to have to carve out this future serial killer's yeah. eye and feed it to his dad. Yeah. So you really don't think it's going to be either one yeah. of them. So it's not going to be those two. Darryl, I really, really I don't, don't think, think it's going to be Daryl. No. They're not going to... First of all, they don't want to write him off the show. They want people to think that he might have been. Yeah. But... Plus he's already shot. Exactly. Like, I don't think Negan would kill an injured person. Yeah. He wants to make it count. I don't think it's going to be Maggie. That's... Cause it's a fair point. point. But either way, she's losing that baby. And it's not going to be Rosita because it wouldn't pack enough punch. Yeah. And I really don't think it's going to be Abraham because he's willing to die. Um, and he kind of stepped up and I don't think... What's with the black girl? Michonne? Uh, no, no. It's not going to be Michonne or... If it's the other one. Uh, that'd be a big one. Oh, uh, Tyrese's sister? I would accept that. Yeah, right that Abraham's Because then Abraham would lose his shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name? I, I am terrible right now. Don't know. I don't I know. I wish I would could it would, I wish it would come to me before So you're gonna cut yourself saying, Oh, I remember it now. They yeah. don't really say her name that much <laughs> because she's not super popular. Her name doesn't get spoken. What uh, even Abraham hasn't said her name really. What horrible Abraham quote did he have in this one? Oh my god, if he talks any more about shit You don't, I don't like know. that? I always thought it was kinda of cool. <laughs> it's it's cool, fun. but it's like Did you see him in okay, the guy that plays Eugene? Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but he talks. Josh McDermott. He yeah. talks so funny in uh, on the show. In real life, he talks nothing like that. He's yeah. putting on a complete voice. Yeah. But he says what they do is they have two die, and he was joking, and they roll one, and it'll say dick, and they'll roll the other one, and it'll say something else. And then, <laughs> oh uh, my god, like, I, I have to go funny. on a tangent about that dick bite. It was ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about? It happened straight out of the comic. Sasha, her name's Sasha. 
Yeah, that's Sasha something you should have meant from the comic. And that guy's so about the dick bite. And he made it out alive. Yeah, and I mean, like, first of all, anyone that can bite through jeans is a monster. Like, how do you? Even <laughs> I do never that? even thought of that. That guy was packing. If he if he had like sweatpants on. But even with the jeans, it's gonna pinch your dick. Yeah, but I mean, can this you is really? What we... <laughs> I don't know, man. You can't get your mouth around that big like zipper part and bite through that. That's not happening. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know what the guy was packing. It could have been anyway. the side. Uh, all we know is Eugene had a firm grip on it. <laughs> Does he go back and get stitches he, on his... He saves the day with the dick bite. Yeah, he really did. He should have done that with the goddamn comedian. Yeah. Can... <laughs> so... But I mean, any dude that gets bit on the dong is going to be down for the count for at least a couple minutes. No matter how much damage it does. I don't think no, he needed he, stitches. He came back and he shot I definitely Darryl. think it's going to hurt to pee for a while. So... Even before the show aired, Jeffrey Dean Morgan was a pretty good cast. He's a he's a fairly well known actor. Yeah. Um, from like all five movies. From all five movies, and he fucking killed it. I mean, in the in the book, he drops motherfucker and fucker like nonstop. And I've heard in the in the Blu-ray version, video version, whatever, there he, it's gonna it was filmed two different ways. So you're gonna have all the yeah. bombs, which is kind of cool. But he that whole speech. And I heard that he he was saying on Talking Dead that they that scene took 15 hours. Yeah. And those all the actors were on their knees the whole time, acting I mean, even when they weren't on screen, which is pretty cool. But he that speech he he killed it. I mean he was really good. You know who's better? Who? Trevor, Trevor Phillips. You know who Trevor Phillips is? No. Is this the guy you're talking Explain. about from? Uh, yeah, GTA, GTA 5. 5. You played it? No, I haven't. Oh well. You know, okay, you know the guy who's out the roadblock, the first one and the last one. Yeah, okay, it's kind of bald. That guy was like yeah. the uh, voice and face and motion capture model for mm -hmm. uh, the the third playable character in Grand Theft Auto Five, the crazy psychopath. All right. And it looks like if you if you played the game at all, you was like that's Trevor Phillips. You can you, like Google it if you want, but um, he was awesome. He looks like a guy from um, I don't even he his face does look really familiar. What's the guy's name from Hateful Eight? And he was in Django yes, Unchained. Yes, that guy. If that guy, old man. No, the the guy, the guy from that Justified. Gets shot in the dick. Oh, Walter Goggins. Walter, Walter Goggins. If that guy had sex with the Captain Lance from Arrow. Yeah. That's what their kid would look like. <laughs> although he's older than both of them. Yeah. That's they. Yeah. But anyway, we were we Negan. Were, we were trying to uh, say who definitely wasn't getting their head bashed. Yeah. In. So I think it's... Sasha. It could be Sasha. Yeah. I would like that. It could be Sasha. I would like that. <laughs> Racist. Uh, <laughs> it could be Sasha. It could be Michonne. Every one of Rick's people... Yeah. They, I would like women that. Died. Love interest. Yeah. yeah. Could be Michonne. Could be Sasha. Could be... And that way they don't have to do any more awkward, Glenn. like, bang. Eating the same apple? Yeah. That bothered me. <laughs> I've never taken a bite of the same apple really? of anybody else. Oh, just wait. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna bite my apple, Corey? <laughs> okay, I'm not with the I think it's it's gonna be Glenn. You think it's gonna be Eugene? I think it definitely is gonna be Eugene. If Eugene wouldn't have given the bullet plan, yeah, to then really? I would have said for sure it's not gonna be Eugene. But I I could see him being on the list of people since he did give the how to make bullets. They basically wrote him out of the show because he gave away everything that was his character. And they didn't in the last in the last scene, they don't really pan to him very much. He's kinda off by himself. He doesn't really make any moans or does any like uh thing to make him stand out, which I think is another big visual cue that I, yeah, I was trying to figure out whose face they not show like like yeah. the last face they show, it's not gonna be them. Because that would give it away. So Abraham's out. Abraham took an arrow to the eye in the book. Dang. And it was him and Eugene walking down an alley. When I saw him walking down that alley towards the bullet place, I was like, oh, yeah. shit, he's about to get laid out. And he didn't. I mean, it would make sense to kill him off, too, because I, they really don't follow anything in the book. Because yeah. Carol died a long time ago, and Andrea is still around. Yeah. So there's that. Mm -hmm. I had to think about what her name was because I always say you Andrea. Yeah, called. man, she was a piece of shit in the show. God, she's so good in the. That was such a good death. Like I wanted her to die so much. I mean, she died horrible, stupid. She was an yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Wait till the last two seconds when a guy's actually turning before yeah. you struggle to get out. But I was so glad she bit. I was like, oh yes, finally. Yeah. Free at last. But overall, this season was pretty good. I really liked um, 
lots of the characters get their you know scene yeah uh carl wasn't very active although he did get shot in the eye so that girl's still locked in the closet yeah yeah she's gonna be there (laughs) she's there till october yeah what the fuck and they said the promos for next season are gonna do a lot of flashbacks so you're not gonna know from the previews what's going on yeah but uh the wolves thing really didn't pan out very well that storyline mm-hmm. kind of... And they were drawing it out for, for so long. Like, who are these wolves? And it didn't really... And they didn't really... Do anything. Finish it up. They didn't yeah. wrap it up very The well. best part was them massacring people and realizing that's what they are. Like, in half of them, like, pulling it up, like, okay, we're fucking fighters. That's our skill. Yeah. That was the best part but, of the season, I thought. I also guess, uh, to comment on the wolves, uh, that the when they go to attack Rick... And Rick just murders the rest of the remaining wolves. Maybe that was the way it? of wrapping it up. Maybe that was, was it. That he killed them all. Rick just fucking shoots eight of them and, yeah. <laughs> and gets away. It's as much closure as you can get. Yeah. It's tough for me being a Rick fan to see him lose his shit, even though I knew it was coming. Yeah. You know, he he goes from you know maybe it's your last day on earth to I'm gonna fucking die. Yeah. And I mean he gets he gets that back. You know he gets that every. He's not going anywhere, so you know he has to get that confidence back. But it's gonna be—it's not gonna be like him come back next season. He's gonna be badass again. It's gonna take some time. He's gonna be docile. Yeah. yeah. But about that writing, it's your last day on earth. No, it's your last day on earth. No, it's your last day on earth. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh... They do a lot of things well, but they stumble a little bit here and there. I'm—I'm I'm all in on the show. I'm never gonna stop watching. The small talk is hard to write though to make it seem legit. Not and, a better call Saul. And I don't like when people are like, there needs to be more zombies. I like character development. I yeah. like, like, one of the best scenes in the entire show is Rick in the bar when he went to get Herschel. And he's was, talking to those two guys, and it's, it's like season so two. Tense. It's that so tense. That is a great yeah. scene. It, I like that, Rick. I like that scene. Yeah. That, that was good. It's probably one of my favorite scenes from the whole series. To, yeah, exactly. And to remember it uh, four seasons later, four I, and a half seasons later. Yeah. If the show doesn't eventually steer more and more away from zombies it would be disappointing because it's, you know they become less and less of a threat yeah, it, yeah. It, they should have de- decomposing but there always will be zombies because when people die they turn into them so they're never going to go away but they yeah. shouldn't be yeah. the main uh, antagonist what, what sucks is when somebody has a heart attack in their sleep and you don't know and then yeah. they're yeah. and then it can spread that's why like, the I mean, prison warrior. when you're level max level with all your gear yeah and you know your character's a badass zombies Anything less than a horde. Would you guys be interested to know what the primary enemy is now in the book? Yeah, sure. Aliens. No, yeah, aliens have finally come. (laughs) They're called the Whisperers. Yeah. And they didn't even know they exist. I think uh, Jesus was the one that found them too. They were they were down the road. Mm -hmm. They when herds show up because they're just thousands of zombies. Yeah. They they use horses to steer them away from settlement. Gotcha. And at one point, the zombies start attacking Jesus and a couple of his people, and they're stabbing him. And, and what it is, is is people have taken the zombie skin, and they put it on. And dressed up as and zombies. And they completely dress up with leather, fucking leather face, and they're basically integrated with herds of zombies. That's and they, what, they have no idea how many of them there are. That's what people originally thought the W was for the wolves. The whispers? Was the whispers. And they, you know, everyone was speculating that these Ws was the whispers. And uh, I didn't really look into it too much, but that explains a lot. And there, yeah, the story's still going. It's I'm surprised it's been even after 156 issues. There's still shit where I'm like, holy crap, that just happened. Yeah. I don't know how they do that. I'm assuming that eventually he's gonna kill Rick. I mean, that would be a nice end. Who is Kirkman? Yeah. The guy that writes oh, yeah. it. I'm assuming eventually he'll kill him off. But I mean, who knows? he should. But then it's like, who, who do takes you, over? Yeah, who's primary? Yeah, and if Carl is primary, then that's kind of... it's It changes the whole structure yeah. of the in the, style. in the book, Rick lost his hand from the governor. Yes. So he's got a goddamn hook for a hand. His his elbow, his arm is broken at one point. He's like on a cane. Yeah. He's got a fucking knee brace. He's all messed up. Yeah, he's all broken. But I, I can't wait for October. I mean, I can, but... It's yeah. I got a protest. What? I don't care. No. And I. Well, they on, made you wait for that long. On the Talking Dead, I liked that. And it's it's only if they can pull it off. But the showrunner said 
this is the end of this story. He's like, the next story, the story, this story arc ended with this specific person's death. And the next story is everybody coping with that and trying to move forward. I'm like, and he's like, we have such a good opening plan for you guys that it will justify everything that happened. If it does, if everything, if the season premiere next season, it just blows the doors off, then I, I won't think care. it'll be fine. You know what I hear about that kind of stuff? Because they haven't filmed it yet. So they don't exactly know yeah. how mind-blowing it's going to be. Uh, this is like a Walking Dead thing. Every season, and I'm not mad at Walking... Oh, sorry. Did I say Walking Dead? Yeah. yeah. Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Game of Thrones thing. But every season, they have to reiterate that some character storyline is going to be the best you've ever seen. Mostly like, at you know, season four, I, you know, or like when season Joffrey got killed. Sansa's story in this one just goes off the hook. Mm-hmm. She's going to be... It's going to be Sansa like you've never seen before. And then at the end, you're like, okay, she had like one good episode when she lied to some, you know, the people... Uh, for Littlefinger push, pushing the lady. Then she but spends like, the rest of the, the season next one, like, raped. Yeah. And then, like, the promo for next season is like, Sansa Stark's going to be someone you've never seen before. Her, she might have the worst her luck st- out of anybody. Her storyline is going to be so good now she goes, you know... I don't think rogue. they really... They do kind of bait it with the whole, like, the world has changed and uh, they have Tyrion saying a couple lines and they pan... They give a big, like, pan to Sansa or a cut to Sansa. But I really don't think that... She's going to be, like, super mega strong, you know, oh, Brienne no. of Tarth woman. No, I mean, they teasing this. This would be the biggest Sansa season you've ever seen. You've never seen her character like this before. We've been hearing this for so long. Her, she's the least interesting character in the show, so you can't keep telling me it's going to get great for her every season. You know, so you can't say, you know, The Walking Dead. Well, you know, this ending kind of sucked, but well, next You're season, wrong, Corey. Walking Dead is better than you know, everything. No, like, <laughs> the ending may have sucked, but next season, you'll understand why. It's going to be bigger. You've never seen anything like it. Tune in. I really like, think uh, that uh, people are making, saying that it sucked, they're blowing it out of proportion because it's, it wasn't, it wasn't really a bad ending. It was really well done and they really make Negan seem like a you know, powerful badass. Yeah. Yeah, but, and, <laughs> you know, they don't kill someone, they don't show who they kill. I was disappointed. To not find out? Yeah. Because I'm waiting and, and waiting I'm sure and waiting. That, now yeah, I don't... More comic book readers are disappointed or people that have read spoilers than people who actually just watched the show. Yeah. But I'm I'm once the disappointment worn off and I watched Talking Dead and I'm not upset at all. I don't want to know. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait till next season as long as I'm alive. So, uh, I was on my computer and, you know, like not interested in watching the show back and forth. But when Negan came on, I'm at the edge of my seat watching for 10 minutes watching like oh shit oh shit oh shit oh shit and then oh are you fucking kidding me that's what always and, happens though in walking dead like they i, I played 11 are you fuck i was like are you fucking assholes they did and it in the previous the season way. too when they get to the alexandria and you know they have that big fight and uh rick's like they're about to kill daryl i think and uh they're like oh what's well, gonna happen big cliffhanger I think uh, it, least, I don't think everybody's disliked it. I think it's honestly split. At least Game of Thrones 50. had the courage to show us Jon Snow getting killed before the season ended. Well, that's Game of Thrones. But is he dead? Yeah. That's Game yeah. of Thrones. Yeah, well, I mean, like, at least the show Glenn gets head bashed in. Like, well, is he dead? Yeah, or but he if his head gets bashed in that bad, he's going to be dead. Yeah, but what if there's a witch? God damn it. Yeah. You don't know what, what's going to happen in The Walking Dead. It, well, just watch yeah. next season. If you. This new whole storyline is going to blow you away. What? <laughs> Rick gets his head bashed in and then, you know, kills Negan with no head. This is, this is a good segue. I think it's a cop out because they couldn't decide who to kill yet. <laughs> who wants. You know what sucks? It's like, all right, guys, who wants, the, who wants the least amount of money? Whoever asks for the most, you get a fucking cut from the show. Do you think the person that dies at the end knows? Do you think the cast knows? No. Or do you think one person knows? I don't think nobody I, knows. I don't think they filmed the actual death yet, so. I don't think so either, but. I don't think. I think the only person that knows is the producers mm-hmm. and they're not saying shit until they actually shoot the but what sucks about that I bet that, you they'll film like four different as an actor you have to turn down poten- potential jobs yeah. because what are these people gonna do be Martha Wayne another it was, if it was fucking What's Rick more? I mean just say yeah. for argument's sake it's Rick he could go get work at this point Daryl could go get work at this point they probably yeah, all another have the, uh, <laughs> um, what is it called when you get terminated and your salary gets adjusted for it. Like, they're probably paid... Prorated? Yeah, they're probably paid salary for a certain amount of time 
even if their character gets killed. What's off. crazy is the guy that plays Sheldon on Big Bang Theory makes like twenty-seven million dollars a year off that show. That show's but a piece of shit. I like the show. <laughs> Actually, it's gotten really bad, but I, I used to like it a lot. All right. Um, but Rick only makes ninety thousand an episode. Yeah, it's. The, I don't it's the think that's a problem. I think that The Walking Dead does an amazing job of making every character just every person is invested in a different character. That's true. And multiple people will like different characters and what? their character growth is really good compared to oh, a what? show. Well, yes, and that I agree has with that. like you know, four characters that are the main seven at this point. Yeah. But what I'm saying is is they have comparable viewing numbers. I bet you Sheldon makes yeah. more than all the actors put together in The Walking Dead. Probably. How much does Carl make an episode? <laughs> yeah. Right. You lunch you money. Know? But there's so many people who's like, Carl's my favorite character. And you can't argue for more pay because once you who do this, you fucking that? you off. Come on, Carl. Carl's really? gone. I love Carl. Carl's gone. I like the actor. I think the whole fight the with kid. the guy in the garage, he was kicking that guy's ass. Yeah, I really like, I think the kid does Chandler an excellent Riggs. job. In the beginning, he was terrible. Season two, get back in the fucking house. Why is Carl always gone? <laughs> I'm getting shot all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now he's he's a bona fide part of the group. He, he contributes. I, I but I really think for a kid actor, he's done a good job throughout the whole series. I ignore all the scenes he's in with, he's like, the, little, with the little girl. Oh yeah, I was like, I don't care about your little storyline. Like Get back the to the main storyline. My love interest. Yeah. Young love. Let me lock you in a closet, dude. Right here. You know, it was a great episode that some people didn't like, and it's the people that are like, no action. Is the fucking episode with Lenny James Morgan. Yeah. When he came back, like. When he was nuts. Though? Yeah. Yeah, when he came back from being nuts. It's oh. The episode okay. that was just on him. Yeah. I oh, love that. Oh, what about the what about the uh, Michonne did steal the the. That was good. Bar. That was good. I like that. That was a great cutback. When he came back, he was like, "You stole my last peanut butter protein bar." Yeah, that's fine. Um, but this is a, before we were talking about Game of Thrones, it was a good segue because I'm gonna get shit for this because I've already told him. <laughs> oh no! I've already told him. Yeah, I don't like this. And he doesn't like it. I guess I can see why he might have dipped his opinion. Why my opinion no longer matters. No, no. Yeah, go on. Daredevil is my favorite show that's currently going. Period. Really? I like it more than Walking Dead, which is a lot for me to say. That's, and I like yeah. it more than Game of Thrones. I'm not saying it is a better show season, than Game of Thrones. Season for season, kind of. I'm not saying it's a better show. I'm just saying, for me, I don't know what it is about the characters, about how they interact, and how the film or it's filmed. But Daredevil is my favorite show right now. It's really good. And they've made a lot of people like Daredevil that just generally are like aren't turned on the fact that he's a blind dude yeah. you know fighting crime and he's they do Batman. a lot of things well who's the actor that plays him charlie cox he is great he's that, yeah. and he's got that blind stare done <laughs> so <laughs> good yeah. it makes it it's great i really like it um he, he can see right through you uh <laughs> My I favorite show jokes. right now is Black Sails, and I know you guys don't watch Black Sails. I was going to when it first came on. The first but... season is hard to get through. The second season is the best season of any show I've ever seen. It's really well done. It all ties together. It's an excellent show. The third season has been great. The characters get darker and darker, and the show is... Is that on Stars? It is on Stars. yes. I will watch it... When I get stars next year, is Ash vs. Evil Dead on stars? Yes. Then next year I will watch it. <laughs> when, when Ash, Ash I only have Ash stars. Ash good too. When Ash vs. Evil Dead is on, I only have HBO when Game of Thrones is on, and now I have to get Cinemax in June because Outcast is on it, which is Robert Kirkman's one of his other books. Ah, what a life! <laughs> I get paid channels whenever I want. Just cancel. Them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to go. But now I, we're binge watching. I do love uh, what they've, and I've never been. A huge Daredevil fan. I have read, I don't know, maybe 50, 60 to 70 books. There was a short run that I really liked. I can't remember. Not a short run at all. 60, 70 issues. Well, when I said I've read like three, four, five hundred yeah. issues of Spider-Man, 156 issues of of Walking yeah. Dead. Yeah. I mean... 30 issues isn't like... Yeah. It's a handful. You said 70. Well, whatever. <laughs> if I've read 70, that's still a short run. There was a run a couple years ago that I really liked. I read it for probably three or four years, and then I stopped. I cut my pull list down. Man, I wish Daredevil had some more interesting enemies, though. That's true. He does true. have a fucking shitbag to grab from for villains. Uh, 
D'Onofrio as Fisk has been... I, I didn't know he was oh going to be in the second God. season at all. Fisk. Excellent character. When he lost his shit Kingpin. in the fucking interrogation room when he said he was going to go after Vanessa, yeah. and he was like, God, smashing his head on the... He wasn't even ready for that. Yeah. Back to the comics. I mean, not comics, but uh, the show I used to watch when I was a kid, uh, the Spider-Man show. The animated had, cartoon? Yeah, with yeah. Kingpin. Kingpin's always been one of my favorite characters. And he, even when... Uh, Michael Clark Douglas Duncan? does yeah, yeah. Uh, does Kingpin it was I really love Kingpin yeah. and I, just, I thought that he did a great job but then this guy playing Fisk yeah. does an amazing job and just knocks I, it out of the park steals the show yeah, from even the Punisher which you're like how can how can it get yeah. any better I watched 45 minutes of the Daredevil movie the other day it is so bad. Yeah. I didn't remember it being that bad. Yeah, it no, is it, so terrible. Bullshit. But if you go back and watch any old, like, watch some of the old Batman movies. Cheesy, not bad. Oh, they'll, I watched the original Batman the other day. It's so weird, but it's not, like, not Daredevil bad. But it's it's hard to, like, it is, it's hard to sell stuff. And the marketing and the art and how they shoot the picture is all based on the time that you're in. Yeah. yeah. But Princess Bride holds up uh, over everything. I, I had a Batman it's all right. logic what? thing that... <laughs> there's a Batman logic you thing can join. that Daredevil has. The police are so fucking incompetent. Especially the last episode of Daredevil. What the hell? Like, a couple, two cops get killed. And they surround a building. And then a, they have an invisible standoff for 30 minutes. It's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Like, what With the, the fuck? Ninja fighting? The, I think... the one time they don't call him SWAT team, if it's Daredevil running away, they'll call him the fucking SWAT team, get helicopters. There was nothing. The cops just stood downstairs. I think I like the show so much that I overlook some of the flaws that it, it does. It was so, have. yeah, but I mean, those are logic flaws. I mean, every show has those. And when you're doing ninjas and shit, you can't be like, oh, but, well, the fucking. Yeah, raising people from the dead it, and the a blind guy with superpowers. You can't even hear walk around. It, in the first half of the season, though, and they have the police hunting the Punisher, and they get. Cop cars, every you know, hundreds of them all involved. And at the end, for them, they're just like, the Punisher's here, Daredevil's here, Ninjas are here, cops are down, let's get five <laughs> cops and surround the place and let them have it out. I was like, oh, you motherfucker. Even Stick walks through the crime scene, <laughs> they capitate yeah. somebody yeah. and walks away. <laughs> like, these cops... You can see the cops in the background. Yeah, you can. I think that's the thing, though, that it, they're supposed to be incompetent. They're so which bad. Is why the city needs yeah. people like Daredevil. Why do they promote that that cop, that black guy, if he's not going to do anything? It's the same reason why stormtroopers don't hit anything. Yeah, sure. yeah I know. As, back to Kingpin just for a split second, because uh, I have to say this. Amazing Spider-Man number 50, which is the first appearance of Kingpin, is yeah. one of my grails. Like, I don't own that book, and I've always wanted to buy it. It's not that expensive. It's like a good copy. is like yeah. 500 bucks. Yeah. But I... That's your dream? That's one of my books. It, it's got the iconic cover. It's like, I'm Spider-Man No More, where Peter Parker's walking away, and Spider-Man's in the big red. Yeah. And it's like, I love that cover. I, I've always wanted it. Um, I'm excited for them to put more attention on Fisk in future seasons. Yeah, you know he's going to be back next season. He's going to be out. Yeah, and he's going to be better than yeah. ever because he's actually going to... They haven't really said Kingpin yet. They haven't really done any of that. But then in this, they did. In the it's, little bit yeah. that he's yeah. in, they do give... They drop the Kingpin uh, line. Uh, they say that other guy is the Kingpin yeah. of the prison and then Fisk becomes yeah, he inherits the, the title of the prison. Yeah. And like other parts of the next time we meet, I'll fucking kill you. It's like, I count on it. That scene, <laughs> when he gets locked in with all those fucking inmates, and he's like, sorry, you were blah, 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 blah. And, he, <laughs> yeah. and all those inmates are walking at him. What? You've done your Holy job. shit. Thanks. That yeah. was incredible. John Burns was, was my, so good. That was my favorite fight scene. I thought nothing would top the... Uh, the hallway fight scene? The gang fight scene, though. The one most, in the, the staircases? The most yeah, the club. they have to have the key. Every Daredevil season, I'm calling it, is going to have that key hallway fight scene. It has to, yeah. yeah. And yeah. there was a hallway in the first one, and it was great. It was great. And the staircase in this one, this they really great. ramped it up. But when the Punisher's fucking stabbing people, left and right. Yeah, yeah that was with that the was, prison shank. One of the things I love, too, is I was waiting for it all season. I'm like, when are his fucking bars going to have the rope in the middle of them with the... Yeah. And he's, at the end... slowly but surely becoming... I like how Lexa yeah. got her outfit. And... Yeah, it's... You like that? I, I, I wish it freaking protected her more, but I like how she inherited oh, yeah. it at the same time. A lot of people hate everything about Elektra and hate why she's in the show and just disagree with 
spending any amount of time on that character compared to the Punisher. I, I liked her. One thing I hated, absolutely, it made no fucking sense, uh, that she is, what do they call it, the Black Flag Sky? Black, Shell? Black Sky. Black Sky. And, like, that's something that is, like, you take all the stories, like, we're supposed to understand, oh, she's the Black Sky. Like, they didn't explain that, it, or the big it, hole, or... It yeah. fucking made no sense, and she was like, oh, now you can be on our side, because... Uh, we told you you're the black sky it's like, it's kinda like why the fuck would that matter to anything that makes no sense their version of and, uh, Batman's uh, Ra Sha Ghoul yeah and then in that secret society in, in the flashback when she's a kid you know she kills somebody and then the black guy there who, who was with Stick is like you know what she is we have to kill her how do you know that was a prophecy where a young child will slit slip somebody's throat when they come at her with a knife well I think they captured her and that was the whole thing is that Stick was protecting her and that he knew what she was, and they captured her. But the black and they're re- trying to use her as a yeah. weapon against see, them. Stick knew it, but... Stick was great, how, by the way. They knew it because yeah. she killed some another kid. And I was like, what the hell kind of prophecy, you know? A lot of kids may kill other kids in other countries. You know who had a few badass moments in this season? As much as I don't like the budding heads and wham, 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 what are we going to do? This Foggy had some badass moments Foggy's in the courtroom. I know. pretty awesome in general yeah. in that show. He steals just enough of the screen to where you like him, and he's enjoyable. But he doesn't overdo it. Lines. But yeah, he doesn't steal the show. I have no problem with Foggy. I had a problem with the court court scenes. Who cares? Okay, when I hear <laughs> this is ninety five percent of it, but when I hear, oh my god, Matt, we have seventy two murder charges, uh, fourteen counts of extortion, blah blah blah. The DA was rushing the court case, and Corey. The DA rushed through, and the trial starts next week, man. You know that shit would take like three years to go to trial. After you watch Making a Murderer, and it's like one murder. Oh my god, don't give me stuff. It's on that ten show. hours. Did you watch the... it? Yeah, I watched most. Of but it. you know, so watching that, it was like this guy has seventy two murder charges. Court case starts next week. Uh, you know, be there, be square. It's like, yeah, but I mean, do you kidding? really want to watch like? No. Fucking how they did The I, Walking Dead, where I they're just them. doing, they're handing off their guns for the next shift, and you watch them do it like five no, times, and you're that. like, oh, it's been like fucking I, 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 a yeah. while. That's like their time cue. <laughs> Maybe so, next time, uh, Corey, they'll just have the fast motion of the sun and the moon coming up in the sky so you can get your. <laughs> either, they'll time. have either, Matt Murdock walking around either the I want, street, tapping the ground, and just going around the block a like hundred times. I wanted a montage of them. Doing their their court <laughs> case work for a few months, and him and Electra doing stuff on the side, or like an automatic skip in time. It's or hard to move the, the story though. Or the Punisher escaping before then. Or Would like you... the whole Punisher thing in prison could have been him in prison. Like he has to go to prison before the trial. Here's the reason why. Do you like and all that could have happened then? Do you like the little tie-ins? Like, uh, with the end of Jessica Jones. Did you watch Jessica Jones? I did. Oh, that's, the end that's of Jessica amazing. Jones had Rosario Dawson, and yeah. the end of this had Carrie Ann Moss? Yeah, I love that. The little tie-ins. Because eventually yeah. they're making, what, the Defenders? Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Would you... Because next one is September 30th is Luke Cage. Luke Cage. Which is Diamond. cool. He was great. Did you see the cast for Iron Fist? I saw the Night of Flowers or whatever. I've seen one cast. Loris Tyrell from Game of Thrones. Yeah, Robert told me that. Um, but I... I want a Punisher series. Yeah, a There's lot of none... people have been saying that they would do that. And, you know, He's a uh, character, right? on yeah. Kevin Smith's YouTube uh, show, he had... We don't advertise other other people's podcasts and shows. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, he had one of the artists for one of the Punisher series, or she did work with the Punisher, mm-hmm. and she was talking about John Barthol representing the character, and she thought he did an excellent job. But... Um, Wow, I completely forgot where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. We'll just cut to it. All right. <laughs> now you forgot. Well, it'd be kind of cool if they did the thing like they did with Samuel L. Jackson where he was the representation of... Uh... I remember. Did I get it? Was that... Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, he, she was saying that he's better as a sideline character and better... They don't know if he'd be able to hold his own show. But then he would have... be interesting... And also have a storyline that isn't just him going around killing people. I'm okay with that. But he could have his own side. I mean, there'd be side people in his show. Yeah. But how would you do that? I could see that. they made him all lovey-dovey and, you know, gave him a heart in Daredevil. And, you know, they could develop the character that way. But then, if they do that, are they taking away from who the Punisher actually is? I like in the show, uh, the Punisher didn't cop, like, become a little wuss. He... 
took the murder at the end. Yeah, he but he wrecked house the yeah. whole show. And you think that he's being like this good guy when he takes her out for coffee and, and he was just using her, to her bait. feelings. Yeah, and then he's like, "You're bait, bitch." <laughs> uh, whole plot. I have a little issues, which we'll get to. I mean, but um, what do they call him? The uh, armor the blacksmith. The blacksmith. The blacksmith. Was it the colorblind. colonel? Was it not the colonel? It just kind of dissipated real oh, fast. It was hundred percent the colonel. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it just did, like it was such a. I'm like, assuming who, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? And it's like, oh, well, he is the colonel. The whole time. I'm assuming you're gonna get more of what happened and what's going on off of that disc. But what is that disc? Is that gonna be on the next season of Daredevil? Is it gonna be his own show? Where are we gonna find out more about? Daredevil. It'll Didn't be they kill him? A new list of targets. Who? Yeah, they killed him, but he had he punched that picture that had the disc it said micro on it at the end he'd probably hunt down everybody in his old organization or something because it looks like he wanted to recruit his old team to smuggle drugs and he did with yeah. the one guy yeah but not yeah. with that, that one guy who was he on the ship because I, I mean they showed the flashback they showed him in a zipper bag yeah was he the one at the end who said just kill me just kill me no to he was a, he i don't think so because when the, was anyway when the punisher recognized him if he had been the one who he was him? shouting from the docks at one point i know he said that hey frank yeah Oh, he was one of the ones who came over yeah. and who got okay. killed by the explosion. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Um, the completely ridiculous explosion. Like, the, the flip with that colonel was like, that should have been like 20 minutes longer. Just kind of be like, okay, now I'm evil. Let's take a drive. Now I'm dying, and now I'm dead. Like, well, I think they, 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 thought, they expedited that, that storyline. Yeah, they're they, trying to get really the fast. character that realizes that she's on to him when, in fact, she wasn't. Yeah, and then he freaks out and kind of like, oh, I have to kill her now. If they had like one more episode, I could see that stretching into he abducts her, takes her <laughs> somewhere, and then punishes her rescuing her. Which would been... While we were watching it, uh, I was like, oh man, it's cool. This guy gets to be a good guy for once because he's nope. never a good guy. And then now, fuck, he turned around. I was like, god damn it, because we all recognize that actor. You've seen him in a hundred things. He's SpongeBob. Like, SpongeBob. Uh, hey, he's a good guy in Star Trek. Shake Redemption. Yeah, he was in. And he's he an a, asshole. He's, well, he's boot camp instructor. Yeah, uh, but he gets the bug at the end. Yeah, Is the that, brain bug. Yeah. Uh, so I had some other logic issues with the show. This is my main criticism because the show is awesome. I mean, the fucking fights are awesome. Yeah, they they're very well choreographed. Except that fucking spin kick that he does. The best the best character in any of the Marvel TV shows so far has still been Kilgrave. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I loved, loved Kilgrave. Kilgrave. He was really good. I think the actor really did sold it. it. Sold with it David Tennant. I don't yeah. watch. It'd have been funny if they combined them and Daredevil would have to do what Kilgrave says a mile away. He's, he's got super hearing. Yeah, pretty <laughs> yeah. I mean, tight. Um, is I like the idea of ninjas in a way. Oh my god! Except that, why did they have to be ninjas? It's like the Foot Clan in Teenage Mutant Ninja. Why don't they give them guns? If they all had guns. They all would have killed Daredevil, so he's like, he can't hear him breathing. He can't hear their anything except their swords at first. He could hear the if they all had bow trigger and, click, man. If yeah, they all had bow and arrows, honest. like he and him in that house. If they all had bow and arrows just sitting that there. That fight with his arrow in his, is... That was awesome. That was pretty cool yeah. when he but got shot. If they really wanted to kill him, they didn't go about it in a very good way. Yeah, but I mean, but that's most... you have to make them seem no, I, I... like they're deadly and it's a clan Yeah, it's, it's the foot, I know. Without the, the foot, you know, the hand, yeah. the face. I, I like the end with deflecting <laughs> arrows. Uh, I wish I was like, they did a horrible job of trying to kill him. Um, when Nobu yeah. took out his freaking chain with his knife, I was like, that was one of the best fights from season that one. Was. Also, I was like, that guy's a motherfucking badass. Nobu was awesome in this season too. He, was, he wasn't as awesome as he, he should didn't have, have as long he got, ass, fights in he got his ass kicked like three times. But have they? So they announced Luke Cage on September thirtieth and. They've said that they're making Defenders and yeah. Iron Fist, but have they announced anything else? Anything else going on? Is there a Jessica Jones season two? I'm pretty sure it got picked up for a season two. You have to assume that there time. is. They don't, want, they don't want to get excited about something before the, the next one. You have to assume there is just because the, the, the crazy guy, the crazy boyfriend guy with the pills and yeah. Jessica Jones, where is he? Uh, What's his story going to be? I am completely in the dark with that. I've never read an Alias book or a Jessica Jones yeah. thing other than... I, when New Avengers came out after some different things and Luke Cage is part of it and she was there. Yeah, right. Uh, that'll all be cool. I want to see it tied together. That'd be really cool. All these I'm side characters. I'm just excited for Iron Fist. I can't wait for that. That was James's that. favorite for it a was. long time. Well, Iron Fist and Daredevil. Um, so you, what do you think about Electra dying? You all seen it coming. 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if they would have used that character any more than they already had, I would throw up. But the <laughs> fact that they... I like All right, it. so my main you did problem... You really? I did. I was 50-50. Sometimes I was just like, what are you doing? And sometimes I was like, oh, that's... I like that she murdered fools, and she just didn't seem stupid to me like a lot of characters. I like that they they get each other, you know, and they get yeah. each other, and that's the only reason they can understand their mo- each their other. The mo- at the end, I really liked. And I was and like, that's... this is a perfect setup for her to die. Love it. That's kind of what I liked about her is that she was had like the espionage feel that you get from uh, Black Widow and yeah, mm-hmm. but she also has like an attachment to Matt Murdock, and you feel like they're really good together. But they're also really bad together. Yeah. And then you find out that everything was set up and it kind of makes you feel really bad just how Matt Murdock's feeling. Yeah. And then the character progression gets out of control and she picks up her iconic weapons off of a ninja. I and like how you said that. And you're just like, all right, this is kind of how Electra is supposed to be. I like when she was stabbing people and in the they head. Have and to, yeah. yeah. Well, it's awesome, but I mean, it's also, they kind of just threw it in there. Yeah. And I, I like how the character's slowly becoming their archetype, uh, you know. Yeah. They don't, they probably got his weapon. She got her katanas from some other random guy she killed. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, like I, I like said, that. it's just, Daredevil doesn't really have a good group of villains to pick from. No. But, uh. But, I mean, it wouldn't be unrealistic I, for them to create something for the show. Yeah. I mean, they've done it with yeah. other things. I mean. Was Nobu the character? I don't know. Nobody's bad at it. Give me more of that. Or Madam. Well, it's, it, you can go as far back as fucking Harley Quinn. She was, she came from Batman the Animated Series. You know, they made yeah. it for that. Now she's probably, she's as big as Batman at this point. Yeah. I like the cameo of that Madam Mim character lady. I, I hope. Her name. But the, I hope they do a Spider-Man. Spider-Man. But the fact that she's still in the show, and that she's still, like, she's still, super She never smart. left. And, like, she's smarter than Matt Murdock. I'm like, oh, if you haven't figured it out yet, Maddie. You know, it's like... Was she blind? No, she was painting. No, but she had something with blind yeah. people. She had blind people that weren't. Yeah, me. but yeah, and she's yeah. a really cool like behind the scenes villain that you know Matt Murdock really doesn't want to cross punish her because she's old and frail. But she and it's like soon your time is near. Yeah, but <laughs> that was cool. Something else. That but was. we're talking about Netflix series. I really hope they do a Spider-Man Netflix series. Uh, there's no It'd way. It'd be a great way to redeem the character. I agree with you 100%. And there's no way. No. There, yeah, because of licensing issues. But if they did, that would be really awesome. That would be one of my favorite things that I want to see happen. Spider-Man's my favorite. I, mean, I wouldn't really go see another Spider-Man movie. You're going to go see Civil War. Well, yeah, because Robert Downey Jr. is awesome. I... Corey and I work together. We've talked about it on here before, but I took a half day that day for work. <laughs> it is cheaper for me to take a half day and not find a babysitter while my kids are in school and go see it than to find a babysitter. And this is the kind of work ethic I have to deal with. Yeah. That's a great work ethic, right? Yes. I scheduled it. I'm, I'm, I'm not t- calling it. I would take off at every blockbuster that comes out. You have to Star work. Wars and this. Work smarter, not harder. There you go. Uh, <laughs> Avengers? Did you? No. You didn't do that for Avengers? No, I took a vacation. Guardians. Day. Guardians 2, you will. Guardians, I did not. I took Parker to see it on the weekend one time because Katrina and Oliver were both moody. You and know, I was when like, I first saw it. Guardians, I came in at the music scene where he's like dun, dancing around dun, the chasm dun, and dun, playing dun, the dun, great song. Dun, 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 and dun, dun. then I went back and watched it again when I got the Blu-ray. And the whole beginning of the movie is just crap to me now. Uh, Before him dancing, it had to. Oh, because of the mom. Yeah, it was much, sad. Yeah, it was much sad. It was like I really don't think they needed it. I think they could have cut that. It doesn't really tie into anything except for that he got well, white yeah. parents. There was a great. But I got that from watching the movie without even having seen that. Well, bit. there was that great reveal, and he finally accepted his mom's death basically by opening it. But yeah, and they're supposed to show his dad in the next one. Blah blah blah. We, uh, we can't get into this. Yeah, we need to wrap up soon. All right. Because I try to keep them around an hour now, uh, yeah. and if they're more, it takes me like hours and hours to edit. I like the Punisher showing up and saving Daredevil at the end. I wanted to add that, but he should have shown up earlier. But just I've got a sniper rifle across the street. Look at me, <laughs> one shot. But he, he had his costume. Yeah. Uh, he, yes. he showed up earlier and fucking was picking off like eighty of those ninjas. 
I'd have been much happier. <laughs> you know what you'd hate? Did you see the little fuck? I don't know if it's real, but they were, you know, every show on there has Easter eggs now. Yeah. When he came back to life or whatever, or on our his heart rate on one of the monitors, when it skipped, it made a fucking skull in the... Oh, really? That's cheesy. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's a little cool. How'd you guys feel um, about the outfits? Kind of, the evolution of Daredevil outfit was cool, like you were saying. With the, I like that. Uh, I actually liked the uh, Electra's, and yeah. I liked the way that... Sticking to one. <laughs> I, I, I do like the... Just because a black t-shirt with a trench coat and a skull on it wouldn't work. That it's tactical gear. Yeah. You know, that's... I really liked it. I thing. like it. You know, one thing I didn't like, because I hear it so much, oh, you heard, like, Batmans and stuff, that Matt Murdock won't kill people. He's freaking... He's Batman, you know, for... He kills... He In Marvel. his mind, he kills somebody at the end. Right. And I, I do like that he finally... Like, the whole show is like, he won't break his morals. And he actually does. Not like Batman, where he... You know, he'll save Heath Ledger at the end. And this one... You know, he sees all these murders, like, and then he kind of makes a compromise with who, uh, Electra, like, we'll kill this one person. Or the, they, you know, he says it to the Punisher, we'll kill the, uh... He the, says you can't come back from that? The armor yeah. or whatever. The blacksmith? Yeah, that's him. We'll kill the blacksmith, just as one guy. I'm sure it'll be okay. And at the end, he assumed, like, you know, Electra died and he killed Nobu. And I was like, you know what? He's finally made the progression. I hope next season he starts killing people. I, I like think he will. If he did, if he became Dark Daredevil... I think that would be awesome. I don't like, think it makes Dark sense. Devil. Dark Devil. <laughs> that he's I don't a, think it makes sense for the character. Well, that he's in a bad place and that, you know, now he's not a lawyer in a way. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen He's with just that. a vigilante. Yeah. I really like the way they dance around actually saying Daredevil. Like, they... The devils of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And they, they have all these different words to market it better, which is really interesting. And how the Punisher calls him Red, yeah. which is also it really good. Girl. Yeah play between the two characters it's more realistic because you know call, hey daredevil come over here yeah. there was a specific spot in, in the fact that it took what's her face what's the girl's name in the show who the lawyer yeah it took her that long to figure out like at the end i had a clark Kent moment i was like are you fucking i thought she should have figured it out yeah, when you she talked to him face to face when, like, you, yeah. when he rescued her the last time i totally forgot that that even happened yeah but the, you there's a there's a point in the show and I can't remember where it is where you kind of realize the Punisher the Punisher knows it's him when, when he woke up from the coma and he heard the voice yeah and I was like if he put that together and doesn't say anything to anybody I think that's freaking if he awesome. didn't wish they didn't and yeah. you kind of think that he knows but then he kind of doesn't he's like know. I know that voice and you kind of want you're him, a lawyer <laughs> yeah you kind of want him to say that he knows yeah but they don't but then it never happened I hope he shows up like at his doorstep one day he's like I've known it's you it's for a like, moment for years you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> but then Daredevil better show than Walking would Dead would it really be this season I, or overall I like if I had just had to put you know rank it like the story arcs the acting everything all together I would choose the Daredevil over the Walking Dead all, both of them have awesome freaking moments. If I took the Walking Dead episode where they just murder everybody, <laughs> you know, that's up there. But that's I agree. My opinion. They both have moments, but they both have bad moments. Yeah. I yeah. I told Corey this, that I think uh, that the last season of Game of Thrones wasn't that great. I think it was the weakest season. Really? Yeah. And I, that's why I, I love Game of Thrones, but that's I why feel I, like it was the weakest season. I excused season. you saying what you said, yeah. but a bad Game of Thrones season is not even compared to... No. Because they were fucking badass moments last year. Yeah, Game of a lot season. of the writing in Game of, in the Game of Thrones season, like when they're in the jail and she's like, "You need a bad girl, but uh, you want a bad pussy." Yeah, you want, <laughs> you want a good girl, but you, you want need a bad a, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. that funny. Oh my god. Uh, no, no, but that if we're going to that, that whole freaking trip down to freaking yeah, we need to. That should not have existed, by the way. So, and what, trip down to what? To Dorn. Okay, should have, no, we're, yeah. we're not starting should, Game of Thrones. Right? Yeah, we'll, that should have been a whole season. You know, before we watch the next season, we should talk yeah. about like the old season. Okay, but yeah, I'm down to do a pre that should have pre been Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. a ten okay. season, a yeah, ten episode trip yeah. down the door, and that should not have existed. Well, now ten we have a trip. now we have a new rotating guest. Yeah, and we haven't used Travis yet either. Has, does he watch these shows? Yeah, he watches all these shows. Travis, if you're listening. Yeah, Travis, if you're listening, <laughs> uh, we you. need you. To, <laughs> we need you on the show. He listens to every single episode. Well, you're going to cut this. So, no, we're not cutting this. But we do have to wrap up Fuck. because we're getting towards the end. Um, that is another episode of 9 to 5 Nerds. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. And if 
you like it, write a good review. If you don't, fuck off. Uh, but that's Nine to Five Nerds with Robert Swatha. That's me, Corey Urkel. And that's me. And uh, Ben Hetzel. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. Bye.